Today we are at the 2019 Mama Spring Rally. We're test driving a bunch of different cars, but I've been wanting to get my hands on a Colorado ZR2 for quite a while because one, I kind of wanted to buy one, and two, it just it's an awesome looking little truck. This is the diesel bison edition. Lots of good AEV components, wheels, some rock guards, sliders. It's already a little bit muddy. I figured we'd take this out, go for a little street drive, and tomorrow catch up with it in an off-road course. Um, but really, this is kind of the small truck that appeals to me the most, and I've been really excited to drive one. As you can see, this is the crew cab. We've got a little bit more space in the back here. And uh, it also comes with a Tedward, which is pretty fantastic. Um, a pretty rare and quirky feature, but uh, you may also recognize him from the Winding Road magazine. We've been doing track laps all day and figured we'd be in for a change of pace with this ZR2. I'm hoping for something relaxing right now. Oh man, I, the, the suspension on this is super soft, super cushy. These Multimatic DSSV dampers are it's like witchcraft almost. Well, I just got out of a Hellcat Red Eye wide body. Yeah. I remember, and that's how tired I am right now. That took all my energy away. So now I'm going to waft along in this thing and enjoy. This is a slight change of pace. Oh. This diesel, I have actually driven one of these before, but not in the ZR2. The ZR2 was a V6. And I have some opinions on it. I think it's a little bit sluggish, but it's a really quite a good power train um, I think the question is kind of whether you're you know you're gonna be using this and you're about that diesel life if you're gonna be towing with this if you're gonna be going on longer trips or if this is gonna be a, a daily driver where you're basically just gonna be using this on the daily commute diesel might not be the best way to go you may want to swing for the v6 the advantage though to this powertrain is that this, uh, this six-speed automatic, yeah, the, the diesel has six-speed, the V6 has the eight-speed. The six-speed is great. There's no hunting, there's no weird funkiness. The V6 has the eight-speed, and the transmission's all over the place. The so sound? I think overall this is the better powertrain. Sorry, go ahead. No, the sound of this actually is really interesting, because I know you said it might be a little pokey, but it's got a real beefy diesel sound to it. It does. So even from in the cabin, I feel like I'm in something a lot more substantial. Yeah, no, it kind of gives you that that manly diesel semi-truck vibe, There's even no though question. it's not a big engine. Pretty good fuel economy numbers, 22 highway, 18 city. And all the off-road capability you could really want from a stock vehicle. Thank you, sir. Locking front and rear diffs. That's critical. Yeah. It's not something that like the Raptor doesn't have. I know. That's For slow off-roading, like big selling point. This is the one. Got stuck in a Raptor because there's no locking front diff. There you go. Big problem. I remember that vlog. So that's all she's got. And downhill. <laughs> but it's it's such a know a smooth torque curve that you barely notice that you're accelerating even though you're slowly climbing up to 60 miles an hour brake pedal feels nice and I haven't driven a car that's that smooth over those real tracks yet today they are rougher than they look yeah where the CR2 really shines is high speed rough terrain I remember test driving one of these at a dealer, hitting a speed bump, like a pretty good sized speed bump at 30 miles an hour. And it would have completely unsettled and upset any other car, jarred your spine, broken some suspension. CRT was like, bloop, no big deal. Didn't even feel it. This engine is a little bit heavier. So maybe you don't get as good handling. I always kind of, I've always kind of thought about this as like the rock crawler ZR2, whereas the V6 is kind of the Raptor, baby Raptor ZR2. This sounds the part. Yes, exactly. Found 
its gear. Yeah. <laughs> Took a little minute, but. And I like, as a passenger, I'm looking out over the hood and I can see this cool two tone, uh, like power bump, if you want to call it that. And that makes you know you're in something a little more special. It feels special, it looks special. I think a lot of guys are buying these and just throwing a, a mild lift on them and maybe slightly larger tires. That is one of my only complaints on the aesthetics. The tires look a little bit too small. It's definitely the number one modification, but yeah. you won't be disappointed if you're looking at it in a parking lot and you see this, uh, this, uh, the suspension because it's pretty impressive under there. Yeah, yeah, it's some trick stuff. Similar type of suspension that the Ford GT uses. That is definitely something every owner will say. Oh my gosh, at, at a bar, that's like their first line. That's their pickup line. Well, I think this is going to be more at home off-road, but its on-road manners for its off-road capabilities are pretty impressive. They're, this is a totally comfortable, daily drivable truck. And even though the character of the transmission may be a little bit more on the lazy side, um, it does a good job holding gear as you can use the torque that's there. Yeah, it's great. Vis visibility is really nice, actually. I'm yep. not sure what you're getting, if, if this is in your way or anything. But... Yeah, visibility is pretty good. We even have a little mini fisheye blind spot mirror here, which is useful. Right up your alley. Yeah, I love my fisheye mirrors. I, this isn't a cheap truck. It's fifty-three grand with the AEV, the Bison package. But you get heated, cooled seats, heated steering wheel. I think it's important to know where that money went. Yeah, I mean, all that money is in off-road stuff. You know, you could you could go buy a Colorado and put twenty grand of off-road goodies into it. And it probably wouldn't be as matched and balanced and well set up as one of these Warranted. with a warranty. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're not going to get it. It's, it's a pickup truck, so you shouldn't really expect unbelievable tech and beautiful, you know, aesthetic touch points. But I think the, the truck world has gotten so crazy that now everyone's truck is like some luxury liner. So this is, this is, this is like back to the roots. Yeah, it is a little back to the roots and it still has... Apple CarPlay and all the features that you would really want out of it. It has everything truck. you need. It's just very plasticky. But to be honest, if you're using this truck the way it's intended, you'll appreciate that because you won't ruin it. Yeah, and you can hose it out. Well, maybe not hose it out, <laughs> but like wipe it down, wipe all the dirt and uh, mud and grime out of it. So, yeah, I think very usable platform. Uh, nice road manners. We'll see how it does off road tomorrow, but I'm sure it won't disappoint. Cool, man. Check out Tedward's channel. Tedward Drives? Yep, Tedward Drives. He's going to do some stuff on Winding Road here. Got a lot of track videos. Oh my gosh. Guys, we filmed so many videos today. This is like... I'm exhausted. What do you think you're up to? 20, 30 cars? I th it's got to be in the 15 to 20 range. Yeah. I drove a couple of them twice because it was really rainy. So if you're watching this far in the ZR2 video, at the very least, you should know that our lines were a little sketchy in the morning. Oh, man. it was very wet. <laughs> we, it was just dancing with death. Then in the afternoon, <laughs> it's been beautiful. So we've had some, we've had some great times out here. So I hope, I hope you guys like this series of videos. Yeah. It's always a fun event coming out here. And manufacturers are great about bringing lots of cool stuff with, uh, for the journalists to drive. All right, man. We'll see you in a minute. I'm going to go out and do a little walk around, and that'll wrap this video up. One thing I would like to see with the ZR2 is you have a pretty high step here. It'd be nice to have a little grab handle. Yeah. I got one over here, though. Which is weird, because I don't have one on my side. It must be a visibility thing. Maybe. Yeah. You know, and to, for that matter, I'm okay with it, because I'd rather have my A-pillar clear and just know that I need to get out carefully. That, there's more AEV stuff on here than I thought there was. There's AEV floor mats that look Check almost WeatherTech inspired. Got an embroidered bison. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just a little bit dirty, which is, which is good. Because this morning it, it was clean. It, it looked kind of weird. It wasn't right. All right, guys. Well, that's it for, uh, for this ZR2 video for now. 
no major complaints about this truck. I think it's a pretty solid platform and uh, in person, I think it looks better in photos with this Bison package. The front end was a little bit controversial, but I've got to say the more I look at it, the more I'm about it. Cool, that's it for this one. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.